Welcome into Duval Daily presented by GinJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thanks so much for tuning in here on Monday, March 18th. Got some breaking news. Jaguars, according to Ian Rappaport, they are signing Joey Sly to a one-year deal. Joey Sly heading to Duval had been with Washington since midway through the 2021 campaign. Uh, been an interesting season here for, for kicker. Been an interesting last couple years at kicker for the Jacksonville Jaguars, no doubt about it. But they are signing Joey Sly to a one-year deal, according to Rap Sheet. We will dive into that here. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can also check out ginjag.com slash shop. Pick up some new Duval gear like the hat I'm wearing right now. Really appreciate y'all. So, obviously, the Lambo stuff has happened. You had Riley Patterson have a magnificent end to the 2022 campaign and and have a magical kick to win a playoff game, right? Then the Jaguars decided to go get a veteran and Brandon McManus, who started off the year pretty good. He's got a huge leg, then fell apart down the stretch. Uh, last week, the Jaguars, they thought they were signing veteran kicker Will Lutz. Lutz had played for the Broncos the year prior, had been with the Saints forever before that. The Jaguars wanted to and thought they were signing him to a three-year deal last week, but uh, Will Lutz pulled the old switcheroo and he went back to Denver. So the Jaguars were kind of left high and dry with their kicker position. Uh, they had already decided that they were going to move on from Brandon McManus, quite frankly, after he, like I said, he fell apart down the stretch. He had some big moments early, um, but, and again, huge leg. Brandon McManus has one of the most uh, talented legs in the game, I would say. But I just don't think Doug Peterson felt like he could go into another year having to rely on a guy who missed so many critical kicks that uh, would have allowed the Jaguars to probably make the playoffs in 2023 if he made like one kick in the clutch. Um, I mean, specifically looking at the Cincinnati game, but there was uh, kicks littered down the stretch where just make that kick and you're good to go. Uh, but Brandon McManus, he's going to the Washington Commanders. Joey Sly from the Washington Commanders to the Jacksonville Jaguars. So they're trading places, McManus to Washington, Sly to Duval. Um, it's an interesting move for me. Sly definitely does have a big leg, very good on kickoffs, um, pretty good from 50-plus overall. My concern, though, is his his accuracy overall. From 40 to 49 yards, he's below 80% for his career. That number should really be in the mid-80s for you to feel comfortable with where you're at there. Last year, he missed three extra points. The year before that, he missed four extra points. The year before that, he missed four extra points. He's 88.5% on extra points for his career. That's insanely low. I mean, you should be above 95%. Really, you should be like 97, 98% on PATs, on extra points. And he's below 90 I mean, you might as well go for two every time, which maybe Doug Peterson wants to do that. I, I jest a little bit there. You know, Doug Peterson does love to go for two points, but I just don't know how you can rely on a kicker whose accuracy is is so up and down. Is for, On extra points, on kicks inside of 50 yards, the accuracy is just not there. And this is a guy that, you know, there's only 32 starting kickers in the NFL. You have got to be one of the best in the world. And to me, Joey Sly right now, in terms of his accuracy, is probably not among the best 32 as a starter, right? I don't think he's one of the more accurate kickers in the NFL at all. And so for me, this just doesn't move me much. Uh, I'd rather have Riley Patterson kicking field goals again, right? Riley Patterson has been accurate in the NFL the last few years. Uh, this is a guy, Riley Patterson, that might not have the leg to really boom kickoffs might not have the leg to feel super comfortable um you know in terms of in terms of the uh 50 plus yard field goals but he's made 88.6 percent of his field goals in his career and again after he had two misses for the jaguars in 2022 in kansas city he was like nearly perfect down the stretch for the jaguars and again won them a playoff game which is a lot more than Brandon McManus did down the stretch. And now I understand. I think the Jaguars want a kicker with a powerful leg. Joey Sly certainly has more power in his leg than Riley Patterson does. 
Um, and I will give him some credit. Again, the last two years beyond 50 yards, he's 7 of 11, which you can definitely live with that. Um, and last year, only 9.7% of his kickoffs were returned. So again, this is a guy that shows the power in his leg, but the accuracy just wanes far too often. And even on extra points, I, I don't recall anybody else in the league at kicker who's starting that on extra points, they're below 90%. Like that's crazy to me. Um, so for me, this is not a quality move in my opinion, unless the Jaguars are somehow able to coach the accuracy into him that NFL special teams coaches have not been able to for the last five years. You know, four different guys have worked with him trying to get more accurate. It hasn't happened. And so for me, again, I don't really understand it. I know the Jaguars want a veteran kicker. I know the Jaguars want someone with a big leg. But I still think they've got to bring in more talent at kicker. And I think they know that this isn't the type of move that they thought they were making last week. They thought they were bringing in Will Lutz. And they thought they were going to sign him to a three-year deal. Joey Sly, one-year deal. So they're, ser- they're, they're, they're showing that they're not as confident in this move as they would have been with signing Will Lutz. Who they wanted to, again, bring in for three years versus one year for Joey Sly. Um. I just don't know how you could go into a season in which you have Super Bowl aspirations with make no mistake. That's absolutely what they have. I mean, they they expect to get back to the playoffs and they expect to be able to compete in the playoffs and try to go get a championship. Like that's the goal. You are in a, a championship window right now with Trevor Lawrence on a rookie deal, whether they're making the most of that championship window, you can debate that certainly. You can also debate if Joey Sly is a quality starting kicker because I just don't see it from an accuracy standpoint. So Riley Patterson, he has the accuracy inside of 50 yards but just doesn't have the booming leg. Joey Sly doesn't have the accuracy, but he does have the booming leg. If you could put those guys' two talents together into one kicker, you'd be feeling great, but that's not what you have. And you're not going to carry two kickers. Teams just don't do that. So I don't really know what you're going to do to to make sure that you have a kicking game that is up to par, that's going to be able to help you in, in key situations and make sure that you're not falling flat and key extra points, short kicks, right? I don't know how it's going to play out for Joey Sly and the Jacksonville Jaguars, but I do believe they need more talent in their kicking room. Uh, I think that there's several guys in this 2024 NFL draft class that they could bring in late or even undrafted to compete. And maybe you find uh, a guy that just can get the job done. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe the Jaguars just want to get back to a lot more going for it on fourth down, going for it, um, you know, two point conversions. Maybe that's the strategy they want to have. I don't know. I do know they wanted to sign Will Lutz last week and didn't get that job done for whatever reason. Uh, so now they're stuck with Joey Sly here and Riley Patterson. We'll see how it plays out for them. Really appreciate y'all tuning in, though. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And again, if you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can also check out ginjack.com shop, pick up some new Duval gear. Y'all have a good one.